All right, TCA, you up next. Let you up. It's summer football camp in Jackson, Tennessee. And local high school teams are getting ready for the upcoming season. Players work on their technique, and coaches work on motivating that technique. Camp organizer Barry Cox is not just focused on making these campers better football players, but growing them into better men. You have to flip it. I like to work with all athletes. I like that underdog guy, the guy that's kind of rough around the edges. Come on, JT. And a little undisciplined, has some character issues. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Barry was a two-sport athlete in college. He played football at Lane College and basketball at McKendree University. I wasn't the most talented athlete, but I hated losing. And I played hard. And they liked that about me, but I was very undisciplined. Back in our day, in the 70s, they called it uncoachable. <laughs> I was a very selfish player. Once I started getting accolades and, and became pretty good, I had attitude, I had a lot of issues with authority. When I was playing, I was a coach's nightmare. Barry left McKendree University after one season to play football at Lane College. He wanted to be a tight end, but the team needed him on the offensive line. I hated it <laughs> because I want a glory position. You know, at least put me on defense, you know. Barry played one season at Lane broke school rules, and was expelled. I began to get depressed, started drinking a lot. And when I looked over my life and started seeing that it wasn't all coach's fault, it wasn't my teammates' fault, and I started looking at myself. And when I looked at me as a person, that changed me because I love to win. And at that point, when I was 29 years old, I looked at myself and I was a loser. Barry carried that depression into his marriage and through the birth of his first child. Well, my daughter at six years old told me that uh, she didn't like me very much anymore because I was coming home uh, late, uh, arguing with her mother, and, and sometimes even became physical. She just asked me to leave. I wasn't a good husband. My daughter, seeing that I wasn't a good father, you don't want to fail as a husband and a father. So the man, who hated to lose but didn't know how to win, decided to quit. Late one evening, with a pistol in his hand, Barry Cox stepped into a closet at his home and closed the door. But just before squeezing the trigger, he started to talk. I said, well, God, if you're real, before I decide to do this to myself, I'm going to give you a shot. I'm going to give you a shot. I don't know how to be a father. I don't know how to be a, a good husband. I don't know how to be a good employee. Uh, I'm on these drugs. I'm on this alcohol. I don't know how to win the greatest uh, game of all life. I'm losing. I'm losing bad. So if you help me, I, I'll surrender. If you will, I'm going to give you a chance. I didn't even know I was even praying. I was just talking and he heard me. And uh, life started changing. I met a preacher and I seen his walk. He was real. He wasn't perfect. But uh, my long story short, man, uh, here I am. <laughs> I finally surrendered. Now it's gonna be on your hut. Hey, make sure you put your straps on. Today Barry's the urban representative for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. <laughs> He's also back at Lane College. Now you inspire me to really ask for you. As the chaplain for the football team. Lord, we come together today, God Lord. And he says he will never forget his first day back on campus. I just cry. How God could just turn things around. This is a new one that we brought in, but we just want to have fun. Only by the grace of God.